morning welcome back to basket forum in this video i want to show you all what you need to know about 3r62 prosthetic knee joint let's go and watch The Fion 3R62 is a polycentric knee with stance phase flexion control and an innovative mechanical swing phase mechanism. Its functions make it especially well suited for low mobility users. Thanks to the optional integrated lock, which can be activated or deactivated by the prosthetist, Fion provides targeted support for the post-amputation therapy process. The alignment and adjustments are easily completed in the following steps. Bench alignment static alignment, and dynamic fitting. For the correct bench alignment values, please refer to the displayed table. In the frontal plane, the alignment reference line runs through the middle of the prosthetic foot, the middle to outer edge of the knee, and the middle of the socket. The sagittal plane alignment should now be adjusted solely by changing plantar flexion so that the load line runs about 10 millimeters anterior to the knee axis. The following adjustments can be made with Fion. Swing phase friction, the ergonomically balanced stride, EBS, the extension assist. Please check the factory settings before fitting the user. The factory settings of the extension assist need to be restored so that a gap of approximately 1.5 millimeters can be seen above the adjustment ring. For the EBS unit, the gap above the adjustment ring should be approximately 3 millimeters. Swing phase friction should be pre-tensioned to 0.5 newton meter by using a suitable torque wrench. To get a first impression of the swing phase control, let the user walk in the parallel bars with the factory settings. Knee flexion is controlled at heel strike by an adjustable elastomer element and stance phase flexion is in the range of 0 to 10 degrees. At this point, the EBS unit has too much pretension, which leads to no stance phase flexion. The user will have difficulty moving through stance phase since the prosthetic foot is relatively far in front. Please decompress the EBS unit a bit so that the user experiences a more comfortable heel strike and can walk with more comfortable stance phase flexion. During swing phase, the spring effect of the extension assist prevents the knee from flexing too much. The extension assist is adjusted by turning the upper adjustment ring. As shown in the video, a spring tension that is too tight will cause the knee to flex too little and also the shank will swing forward too quickly. This results in a hard extension stop. When adjusting the swing phase, remember that the extension assist and swing phase friction influence each other. Please ensure that swing phase friction is increased only in small increments. Otherwise, the knee joint may not reach full extension due to the high friction at the axis and heel strike will occur with a flexed knee. This can be an unsafe situation for the user. Now tighten the extension spring slightly. Make sure that the prosthetic knee is in full extension when the prosthesis is loaded during heel strike. 
Once the optimal setting for the user is found, it's time to walk at a self-selected walking speed. Walking at different gait speeds is necessary in order to confirm that the swing phase is set optimally for the user. The settings should be comfortable for the self-selected walking speed and it should still be safe for changes in walking speed. At this point, the last check of the dynamic fitting is ensured. Here, the knee axis friction is tightened a little bit so that the extension stop is softer. Now the knee is set optimally for the user and further walking exercises can be completed. Fion is delivered with the lock deactivated. The knee joint can be freely flexed. Please observe the following instructions for installing the lock release cable and activation of the lock. After installation, Please check whether the lock release cable has been installed in accordance with all the instructions. All instructions can be found in the instructions for use and the assembly instructions. With Fayon, there is the option to activate the manual lock by removing the screw on the bottom side of the knee joint head. The lock then reliably locks the knee in full extension and can only be unlocked when the lock release cable is pulled. Please observe all instructions for installing the lock release cable correctly. Finally, please check that the lock mechanism functions reliably. If you have any questions, ask me, write your comment below if you want to share your experience with us, please, you are most welcome to write your email or WhatsApp or call us as you wish. Our telephone number mentioned right now here, if you want to call us or send a WhatsApp or if you are planning to email us right now, you see my email below. Please note it down, save it, and we will be always in the contact.
Thank you. If you are a CPO or an orthotist, prosthetist or a doctor or you are a patient, please for any questions and inquiries contact me with 0097150. This is my mobile number from UAE, also my email address, you will right now see it on the display. Please save this mobile number and this email address with you, I will be available for you 24-7. Anytime you have a question, contact me and you will get answered immediately. Thank you very much.